Welcome, I am Rama Venkara. I would like to introduce you to some of our significant improvements in the Intel Quartus Prime design flow. By now, you're probably familiar with the design flow in Quartus. The design is synthesized into the basic elements of the FPGA. Next, the elements are placed into actual physical locations and interconnected. Finally, you analyze the resulting timing and fix any timing violations. A small project may have less than 10 iterations, whereas a large, high-performance project may have dozens. Many applications are satisfied with moderate utilization and performance. For these users, a push-button flow can definitely work. But what if you're a power user trying to push utilization and performance to the maximum? Then you may be looking for a way to break up the flow into more incremental stages. Thankfully, there's a new way, an incremental approach to design. In this approach, we add not just more stages, but also more meaningful stages. More planning capability is added at each stage. Logic floor planning, planning the I.O., and the transceiver rings. Finally, more visibility at each stage, such as graphical viewing and timing reports are important. Intel Quartus Prime Pro Edition version 16.1 introduces an early placement or initial placement stage. This stage intelligently creates initial placement and routing that is not yet an actual legal assignment to an exact physical resource. But there is enough accuracy at this stage to create floor plans with high confidence. Also, Quartus adds more margin at this initial stage so that the detailed timing results are usually better than the initial timing results. Note this important advantage of early placement. The detailed fit can run in parallel while you check the timing based on the initial placement and estimated routing. Of course, the initial placement or early placement can run much faster. Let's run this through an example. Consider a large high-performance design that can take up to 25 iterations for timing closure. Each iteration can take five hours in runtime for a million logic element design. You can use early placement to reduce the cumulative runtime. 25 iterations of early place can take an hour each. You will likely still need to run a few more iterations, maybe five more, of detailed place and route. But the overall savings for your project can be significant. In this example, about 64% savings in runtime. At this point, it is useful to introduce Logic Lock Plus, a useful feature in large designs. Logic Lock Plus is built upon the new hierarchical databases in Quartus Prime Pro Edition. Version 16.1 supports placement and routing regions and is also fully integrated with the chip planner. Combine this with early placement and you have a powerful tool for creating a solid, practical floor plan. Designs using partial reconfiguration are a big beneficiary of this approach. For some time now, Quartus Prime has evolved innovative approaches to incremental planning and design. The standard fitter is now divided into five stages. Blueprint reduced the number of iterations needed to achieve logic placement of I.O. by up to 10x. Early placement, detailed placement, detailed routing, and post route or four other stages. I want to introduce a couple of useful terms. A checkpoint is a stage in flow where you can stop and do something useful. Snapshots are the output database at a particular checkpoint. After I.O. and HSSI placement in Blueprint, you can run timing analysis from the fabric to the I.O. You can check if you have the correct timing constraints. In ARIA 10, you can even plan and assign the final legal clock domains. After I.O. placement, next comes the early placement stage. In addition to checking early timing, you can check logic lock plus density, iterate towards appropriate logic depths, and review critical paths. Detailed placement and routing offer additional optimization steps. The basic idea here is to create a smoother convergence to timing closure. This also naturally reduces the number of time-consuming, full design iterations. Running early place is simple. You can run on the command line or click on the button in the compilation dashboard. After you have run early place, you can take a look at the results in Chip Planner. This is a powerful visualization tool that shows the floor plan. The timing delays are annotated on this floor plan. This makes it much easier to fix potential timing violations. Here is an example where careful planning can lead to a great design experience. Workload acceleration in either data centers or in high-performance computing is a fast-evolving area where FPGAs are showing increasing value. An exciting application in the FPGA-based acceleration is to quickly load different functions or persona to accelerate different algorithms. Partial reconfiguration regions 
can be intelligently designed to minimize the reconfiguration time. In a complex partial reconfiguration design with several partitions, you will want control over the placement of the ports and the timing. Blocks A to F have to be partitioned physically on the device. Use Logic Lock Plus to do this. Using early placement to check logic lock density and initial timing can significantly boost productivity. Quartus Prime 16.1 has the capability to visualize partitions and generate reports. Task Dialogs allows selection of a particular partition and generation of partition routing reports. Download Quartus Prime Pro Edition version 16.1 to get started. A free online course for incremental optimization is available now. This includes the early placement feature. I'm Rama Venkara. Thank you for watching.